<laughs> well, we do have something great in the kitchen today and one of my all-time favorite foods. It is a healthy fat. That's what we're going with, <laughs> Chef Judy. Tell us what you're featuring today. I love today. that. Holy guacamole. It's <laughs> National <laughs> Guacamole <laughs> Week. I mean, who would have ever predicted, but we've searched the Sun Coast. We've been to Bradenton Beach and down by Felipe Creek, and we have such a great assortment for you in different dishes, not just guacamole, but dishes that use guacamole or guacamole sauce in them. So, mm. oh my, I, I'm going with that healthy it fat is. thing. It is, it's a you. healthy fat. It's mm -hmm. good for your hearts. Maybe not the chips you put it on, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll use forks and spoons. Okay, I'm with <laughs> you. Linda, are you a guacamole fan? No, I'll get my calories some other way. Okay, oh. I'll eat yours. How's I'll eat that? the avocado. I like avocado. You like it without it, all well, the mixture? Uh-huh. Okay, there you go. I like that too. Welcome back to Suncoast View. We're going green today in the kitchen with Chef Judy and some great guacamole here on the Suncoast. Judy, tell us, guacamole is not just a dip though, right? People are using it in lots of things. It's great because it's far from just a dip. You know, I'll top my omelet with it, with mm. a little sour cream. A turkey sandwich is totally going to change if you use spicy guacamole on it. So there's lots of different things that you can do with it. And we even have fried guacamole balls that oh are like, wow. and it's all over Yelp from this restaurant. <laughs> People are just raving in Yelp. So it's really fun and creative, but there's nothing like just scooping a chip, right? I'm with you. Okay. All right. We'll see you in a few minutes. Thank Look you. Look forward to it. Well, right now. <laughs> <laughs> right now we're in the kitchen with Chef Judy and we're talking about guacamole. I'm sorry about that, Judy. And no, you're double I fisted. Think it's, I, as, I think it's great. You're double fisted. Just no double dipping. Yeah. That's what we're going to say. Good point. So it's National Guacamole Week. I mean, you, I thought it would be near Cinco de Mayo, but no, this is great because of all the sporting things that we're watching right as we get Any to the World Series year. football. It's just so delicious. Mm -hmm. Let's get right into it. Felipe Creek or Oyster Bar. They have the most amazing fish tacos, mm. and they make this homemade avocado oh, spread. Yummy. It's mild, and then you get that coquilla cheese on top. It's so wonderful. And notice they're using the blue corn chips, a little bit healthier for yeah, you, too. Really? Tortilla chips, yes. But those. Dig in, I'm, Linda. I'm putting that Linda, back. I'm telling you. Gonna, look at that. I love that. <laughs> Just no putting it back in the bowl. Not there the you bowl, go. Not the bowl. Isn't that, and it's nice and mild, okay? So, but it, can you can imagine it with, as a fish taco? Mm -hmm. To get that, it's just so creamy and luscious. You're going to mm -hmm. really enjoy it. This is a really like fun one. place up in Bradenton Beach, Wicked Cantina, like and they it. are wicked awesome. <laughs> Anyone and else want fried. to try? Joey, you want to try a yes, fry? Okay, fry, I'm going to give sure. you. Come on. Now these are, I'm telling you, these are like busting out on Yelp as like wow. the thing really? the fried guacamole. How do you I don't even want the keep whole thing. it together? That, well, okay, that's yeah. their technique, and it's the way they roll what it. But it's it? so good, and they have a nice ranch sauce. And of course, they're also serving guacamole. Simple thing people can do at home. Take take the the tortilla chip, break it in half, yeah. put a little grilled shrimp and maybe a little sauce on that, and some nice guacamole. So a great a idea appetizer. for everybody that yeah. can make it home, right? Mm -hmm. I love this place. This is Maria's restaurant at the Red Barn Flea Market. I've heard of that And place. I first tried them a few years ago, and we went over and we did a lunch with Chef Judy on a Friday. And I mean, I just could not stop eating. The camera crew kept <laughs> saying, come right on, we got to shoot. They were so good. So we have so many different things to talk about. We have these, the sopes, which is it's made from corn flour. So they almost mm -hmm. look like tarts, right? Mm -hmm. And then they hold the meat and the beans, then they're garlic garnish with a lettuce and tomato, Mexican cheese, and of course, guacamole, guacamole. sauce. Now look at this sauce. Mm. I mean, this is great. This could go on grilled it's flank very... steak, mm -hmm. right? Or if you're making wow. like chicken fajitas, a beautiful, bright, delicious How does it get sauce. So smooth? I don't know, but I'm going to try it. Because it's chip. Maria's and they're like <laughs> wow. the best at the <laughs> avocado working. That's it. But, but it is smooth. So isn't that good? And that's their traditional guacamole that you just, you know, you have to love. So whether oh, you're making, you know, quesadillas, anything like that, but you can think out of the box and it doesn't have to just be Mexican good food. You're using different things and for And you can it. grab and go. Grab and go is definitely so mm. much fun. Now I brought in sweet potato chips and the lime chips, and these mm. are old. It's a company in Florida, Old Florida tortilla chips, and I brought in the very spicy, the mild, and then you can even get some that already have the pico on top. 